Hey everyone, this is Jason with A Life to Live For. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've put up a video, so I figured I'd do one for you know myself for the future, you know, to kind of pinpoint this moment in time, the date. It's you know the it's January the 18th, uh, 2018, and um, I just want to give everybody else an update as well. Um, my life has been pretty boring. It's you know, no different than anybody else. Currently, I'm just working, you know, an eight to five job Monday through Friday, and I try to relax on the weekends, get done what I can. But um, if you follow the Facebook page, uh, it's a lot more active. You'll know a lot more what's about what's going on. Um, there's a few things that uh, we've done in the camper itself that uh, has been put up on Facebook and up on our Instagram page and I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and put uh, links to both of those down in the comments <coughs> in case you're interested but um, in my first video I made a reference to um, relocating uh, while well, I'm going to be transferring with my job, uh, I'm going to be putting in the request to transfer um, up to Alaska. Uh, I'm not exactly sure which area we're going to. There's a choice of two different areas. Um, we'll get into that later. But um, pretty much April 1st is when I'll be doing the request, and just it'll be up to them to figure out where they want me up there. Some of the details we've already been gone over. Um, they'll just be um, updating like any paperwork or anything like that for this year. And um, we'll be doing a bit more work to the truck and the camper to get it ready for the trip. It's going to be about 2,600 miles. Uh, we're going to do it over seven days. And this thing's got to be in ship shape condition. Um, I'm going to be putting on uh, a couple more tires. You'll see from one of my previous videos, I got four new rear tires. Uh, the front tires that I have on here are, were free. So I just made do with those, but uh, we've got to, got to put uh, new front tires on. Got to replace the intake manifold gasket on the engine. There's a uh, small coolant leak. Definitely want to get that fixed. And I'm replacing the drive belt on the engine that needs to be replaced. And probably going to be uh, doing a brake job as well. And I'll go ahead and do videos of all of those because it does pertain to you know living this lifestyle, being able to do work to your own vehicle. So I'll be recording those. But uh. As for everything else up until now, um, if you, like I said, if you've seen the Facebook page, you've already noticed this or already seen this, but uh, I'll give you a quick look around the camper here. Now, on the Facebook, you'll, you'll remember um, me getting, uh, you know, I guess this is basically just a, a big sticker. We used to recover this and the counter, and we just laid it on here, you know, cut around the edge. It looks a lot better than the, I don't know, it's kind of a yellowish, greenish color there. Same thing with the countertop here. I just laid it out, you know, long ways this way. There's no seams here. It wasn't big enough to cover the whole section. In fact, the seam is right here. You can't even really tell where the seam is, but I can feel it. It's one thing that's awesome about this is the way it's colored. You can't really tell where one section of the sticker ends and the other one begins. But um, got that. Um, still need to paint the stove. You want to paint it white, you know, just to get it to look better. Then this is the other part we did. We did the backsplash. 
fact, you might be able to see it up here. It's kind of a light green, just ugly little wallpaper that was on here before. I just put this over it. But all this was a dollar for each roll, and uh, there's one roll for the table, uh, another roll for this, and going around the counter back here on the other side over there. And then two rolls, I believe, for this to make the border look good going up and around and everything. So one, two, three, four dollars to do all this. And it's definitely worth the, uh, the little bit of an investment that we did. And so there's the wood stove. Still haven't used it. I guess you can't really see it. Let's see here. There we go. It's a little better. That's the wood stove. Got it plumbed in and through the ceiling. It's kind of a, a hot box that I put in up there. And the coil around there so it can make the hot water when ready to. There's, there's the wood stove. We're still waiting for a time to light that. I'm not sure, you know, we haven't been in the right scenario to fire that up and feel safe and confident that uh, it won't cause any issues. But anyways, this is another thing that if you're on Facebook or follow the Facebook page, you'll remember. Let me put in here. There's a, a better view. Pull up the... Uh, grab the flashlight here. Hold on. <coughs> there we go. That right there. Inch and a half of styrofoam insulation. You know, aluminum backed. When we first got this camper, the ceiling had a bunch of water leaks and the previous owner had pulled down the old uh, wood paneling and replaced it. But when they did that, they pulled out the old insulation and didn't put any new insulation in there. So it was pretty uncomfortable and we did have a uh, cold snap that got down to about 20 degrees for a few days. And we decided that that was not going to work, so we went down, paid, I think it was $16 per panel, and did one, two, three, four, like six panels. We have two panels left over for different projects we may have. But we did the whole, whole bedroom, walls and everything. And that right there is just a little foam cushion that was left over from the old bed. We got a a new bed cushion. Let's see, there we go. But we used that to plug up the vent there. Uh, we covered up all the windows because they're just single pane windows, the kind that, you know, you crank and they kick out. So they're not really energy efficient, doesn't hold any heat in or anything like that. So we just covered those up for now. We'll worry about opening them up next spring or summer or something. So there's, there's the updates. So there's the updates to the camper. All right, let's. Sorry, I'm messing with my headlamp here. A flashlight hanging back up here, so it's a little bit of light. Now currently, if you know the thing that I put on both Facebook and the Instagram page is I've been working on a little cabin that will go around the camper and we get our piece of land. We're going to put the camper on the ground on a platform, which is basically this floor here. And then we're going to build the cam the little cabin around it and put the two by fours up against the cabin their camper and stuff it full of insulation and down in here you know underneath the overhang where the bed is that's going to be a little storage area and then i've extended this out here to where you can actually have a couch have the wood stove out here maybe a little tv or something like that but i finalized these plans you know, got the windows installed, 
over here. These are little access doors, the lighter color wood. <clears throat> and then the front door is, you know, whatever we're gonna come up with. Um, most, if not all of this, if I can, is going to be all recycled. It's gonna be dirt cheap. You know, it's basically just something we'll be putting together during the summer to try to make it through the first winter. Because I guarantee you the camper by itself will not survive an Alaskan winter. You know, if it got uncomfortable at, you know, 20 degrees Fahrenheit, you know, above zero, you know, 20 degrees below is going to be pretty much unbearable. <clears throat> so, there it is. There's the update for you guys and for myself. Adjust this here. There we go. But here pretty soon, hopefully, I'll be making some more videos. Uh, like I said, there's some work to be done on the camper and on the truck itself. Uh, I'll be updating you with um, a kind of itinerary. I'm putting together basically all the fuel stops that we need to make between here and Alaska. Uh, before we make the trip, we'll be making a trip to Idaho to visit my family. The um, decision to go to Alaska it definitely wasn't a, wasn't an easy one. You know, they do have family in Idaho and that was an option for transferring. But the only problem with that is where a transfer there versus where the land is that I would want to purchase is a good four hour drive away. Now that it'd be fine for like a weekend, you know, vacation getaway or whatever, but you know, I want to live in the on the piece of land that I purchase and actually build a home with my lady and you know have a quasi homestead. You know, be able to grow say ninety percent of the vegetables we have and hunt and fish. You know, basically get back to basics. And um, if we move to Idaho to do that, we'd only be around my family for the first year or two before we'd actually end up moving. And I would have to leave my job, try to find another one, which I like the company I work for, so I'd like to do what I can to stay there. So that's why I chose the option to go to Alaska. The places where the land is versus there you know like the places where the land is is a lot closer to or are a lot closer to the places where I would work you know four hours away versus you know a half an hour away and you'd have a lot of the same freedoms you know up there there's really not a whole lot of regulation on what you do with your own land uh, not a whole lot in the way of building permits um, same thing with uh, building codes uh, not that I want to avoid building codes it's mainly you know the added cost of permits and everything else I do plan on seeing if I can get some kind of homeowners insurance on the house that we make not this particular one that's, you know, just a little camper around the cabin, and that's, that's not going to be a huge deal if something happens to it. I can always rebuild it. It would just end up being a, um, like a guest house, you know, and then the other house would be our main house, but, um, you know, figure out how to build a code, but on my own. And then get some insurance on it and make sure if something happens to it, it's covered. But anyways, when I made the decision, I should say when we made the decision to go to Alaska, uh, one of the biggest things is that uh, the fuel costs were being reimbursed. That was a big ticket item for me. Because going from here in Oregon to Idaho, that could be done in basically a paycheck, not a big deal. <clears throat> It'd be easier to get there, 
but it'd be a lot more difficult to get to where we want to live in Idaho. And then the, it's kind of vice versa uh, the other way to Alaska. It's more difficult to get to Alaska, a lot more preparation. But once we get there, it'll be a lot easier to find land and uh, actually get started on building a house. So that's why we decided to go up there. Be a lot closer to, you know, the places where I would work. Well, so, I think that's it. Hopefully here pretty soon I'll start making some more videos. Start putting them out there. And, um... Yeah, I guess I'll talk to everybody later. Bye.